This is Scott the fix -A guy Today we're dealing with a GE Frigidaire gas dryer that's burning holes into the clothing. And this is due to the front felt bearing being worn out. It creates a gap at the top of the dryer tumbler. And it grabs the clothes and kind of burns them up and puts holes in them. So we're going to just be replacing that felt seal that we call the front bearing. So we got it turned off. We're going to unplug this modular connector and then we're going to need to remove two Phillips head screws from the front panel and then we can just take the front panel off. So just two Phillips head screws are located about four inches down in the upper front and upper left hand corner. If the screw drops it's okay because you can get it once you open up the front panel. So once these screws are out, you just want to grab the panel securely at the top and pull it towards you. And it'll come out at about a 45 degree angle. Then you can lift it up to get it off of its clips at the bottom. And this panel is where the front bearing lives. And we're going to be removing the old one basically by scraping it off and then putting the new one on with some contact cement. Here's the new one. And there's the old one, looks kind of rusty looking color. Uh, that's where you get kind of the brown marks on your clothing. It's from the uh, front bearing being all worn out. So I'm just using a paint scraper. You can use a standard head screwdriver, would work too. You want to just work it underneath the old bearing and kind of wiggle it off, trying to break the old glue connection. So they're just glued on at the factory with contact cement. So this may take a while. Sometimes if it's really stuck, I'll take a standard head screwdriver and a small hammer and kind of tap in to break the glue connection. Just be patient. Sometimes these come off really easy and sometimes you got to fight with them a little bit. Once we get the uh, old bearing off, we're going to put some contact cement on both the new felt bearing and also on the metal where it comes in contact. And we'll just let that contact cement sit for about 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes until it feels a little bit tacky. Like if you touch it with your finger, um, it won't come off, but it just feels a little sticky. I'm also taking out this lint that's built up in the ducting where the filter lives. And this is a great opportunity to clear that out. If you can get it out, then the dryer just works better. The uh, better the airflow, the better that it can dry. So just working on getting that old one off. Just some of the glue on this one part is really stuck. And these bearings are supposed to wear out. They have three plastic glides that will wear out first and then after that it starts to wear onto the felt and the felt gets less and less creates a bigger and bigger gap and that's when you get problems like you might get some squealing metal squealing sound but more often uh, clothing especially white clothing gets trapped in there and it leaves a brown mark or a burn mark So you want to just be patient, keep trying to scrape off the old front bearing. And once it's off again, we'll go ahead and put on the new contact cement. There we are. So we have got off the old one and we're just cleaning up that surface area a little bit by scraping some of the glue off. And now we'll add the contact cement onto the front bearing, onto the felt. This is the back, back part of the bearing that comes in contact with the front panel. And they give you a pretty big tube. I would say I would use probably half this tube in terms of how much glue you use. So about a quarter of the tube for the felt and then about a quarter of the tube for this metal surface here on the front panel. I kind of use like a zigzag pattern just back and forth. Contact cement's interesting. After about 10 minutes, it gets uh, to a tacky state. And then if you join the two surfaces together about 15, at about 10 to 15 minutes, it creates a really good bond.
We're just kind of spreading it around. So using the zigzag pattern, you want to put the glue on all of the surface of the felt bearing and on the front panel so that there's no point where the bearing would ever come loose. So we're just going to let that dry for about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes again, just till it's tacky. I'm going to clean this little moisture sensor while I have this out. You can use some alcohol uh, or abrasion and that just gets off any kind of waxy buildup from like dryer sheets so the dryer can tell better uh, how dry the clothes are getting. Here's the old felt front bearing you can tell it's pretty skinny pretty wiped out and that was leaving a gap that's where the clothes are getting caught so now to put the new one on we got to make sure the long end of these glides is pointing away from you pointing toward the very front of the dryer and the short part of these glides that doesn't hang over that points toward the back of the dryer. We're gonna push this front bearing into position and hold it down, especially on the, the two ends in the middle for four or five minutes to make sure it's really locked in. Again, the contact cement's pretty good. If you've let it dry on both surfaces for 10 to 15 minutes, it should, should have a good strong bind. Keep pushing down just for a little longer. Make sure we got it. So this will cure the problem where you have a squeaky dryer and also where you have a dryer that's burning holes in the clothing. The squeakiness could also be from the rear bearing, which also might be wearing out. So we're going to put the front panel back on. We put it down on the two little clips in the front. And then we're going to tilt it in toward the back of the dryer. We're going to feed this modular connector back through. And we're going to lift up on the tumbler a little bit so that it can ride back up on the new front bearing. The tolerance now will be pretty tight. Be careful when you're doing this that as you push the panel on, it doesn't shove the new bearing away toward you. Make sure you're lifting up on the tumbler so the tumbler can now rest down on top of that new front bearing. And once you got it, push the front panel all the way in to where it clicks. I'm going to turn it a little bit here just manually to make sure that it's really uh, riding on that front bearing really well. If you notice that that front bearing has slipped towards you a little bit, it's okay. You can just pull the front panel back off. You can lift the bearing off and let the glue dry a little longer and then put it back. Could be that the glue just isn't quite dry yet. So this seems good. It's spinning really well. And the tolerances are very tight. No more, there's no more gap that's gonna burn up the clothes. So we're gonna hook the modular connector back. And we wanna put a little zip tie on that to hold it in position too. We're going to put the two Phillips head screws in that, that secure the front panel. Probably good to do that by hand first to get it started and then drive it in with a screwdriver or with your power driver. Take your time here. It might be a little bit hard to find the uh, as you put the threads in for the threads to catch. There we go. So we got that in there tight, and then we'll put the other side. Reconnect the modular connector. Put the little zip tie in there to hold it. That's just so it doesn't rub up against the tumbler. 
and we'll get it plugged back in and just give it a little test while we have the uh, top still um, up so we can observe the tumbler spinning. Turn it back on. Yeah, so it's spinning really good. Nice and smooth and no more excessive gap. So that looks really good. Well, it's testing, I'm just gonna go out real quick and check the volume of air coming out of the vent tube. Should feel like a hair dryer. Yeah, that's nice and strong, so it's not any lint really clogging that. That's great. Put the top back down on those two clips. Just push it down to lock, and you are all done. You're gonna have a dryer that's gonna be non-squeaky and won't burn holes. Might get another 10 years. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.